Traders, welcome back to another price action training lesson. We're going to talk about how to use price action rules to help us navigate the market and how to find high probability setups. The very first thing we need to do is to identify the overall structure, which is fairly easy to identify because we spike down, we have lower highs and lower lows, which means the structure is bearish. And my second goal is to look for the correct channel, which if we're going to connect these three swings at the top, we have nicely fitting spike and a channel bearish pattern. This means we're only looking to sell preferably at the top of this key entry point or the EMA because this is where the correction phase will end. So what I will do, I will use the counting technique to reset the count at each new low. I'm also going to follow the short term channels because the small trend line rule applies. So I'm following the short term trend line rule, the main trend line rule because this channel right now is in play. We have a new low per century short. There's going to be a break below this bearish bar. There's going to be a second bearish attempt to sell at key entry point. So this is first high probability setup for the day and market continues working lower. Of course, this is still doing the pre-market structure, but we're going to use the structure to train how to use the price session. Another new low, which means I'm going to reset the count. I'm counting again for second entry short because I cannot take just first entry short. It worked in this case, but it doesn't mean I don't want to take it on to follow the rules. The second attempt, that's the high probability setup. First entry short, pull back. Second entry short is a little bit congested, but because it is at two key entry points, when the structure is clearly a bearish trend, we can take a setup like this and market push phase is starting. But right now we can see the market is getting close to the open and we are breaking lower. In fact, we are breaking our initial trend channel line. This is why it's so important to not only look for the trend line, but also the trend channel line so you can read the structure and the information that the market is giving you. So if I'm going to zoom back, I can see that we have overshoot. This means I can have stronger right now bullish momentum in the opposite direction because you can see how healthy the trend look very consistent and suddenly we broke lower and you can even use higher time frame but looking right now at 2000 tick chart. So if you're going to take a look at 10,000 tick chart, you can see how overdone the push down was and how far from the EMA you are. Okay, so you can read the structure to help you understand what's happening in the market. You can also use channel that is a little bit steeper like this, but even this channel has overshoot. It basically gets you to the same place. So I was playing this one doesn't really matter exactly which one you use, but you can see how healthy this is suddenly overshoot. So if there is going to be second entry short at the EMA, I'm not interested because I'm reading the structure that is telling me I need to get right now stronger pullback. Once again, I cannot forget to redraw the short and uptrend. Okay, first entry short, second entry short. Can I take second entry short? I cannot. This is why it's not about the pattern itself. You need to read the context, the structure accurately, draw the short and channel, the candles fit well, I cannot take a second entry short because we had overshoot, we can have stronger momentum, uptrend is still in play. Now I can see that we have continuous bullish pressure. I'm going to redraw my channel a bit wider. Now if I can see a good second entry long, I would consider because the overshoot was so substantial that I'm going to reset the count at each new high. We only had first entries. If there is going to be a good second entry long, I would actually buy for a small scalp. Because this price action trend line rule right now tells us that this option is in play. Okay, so we don't really want to be selling. We respect this correction. New high again, first entry long, can get a second entry long. We cannot and we created new extreme. So right now the trend line rule says, once again, just by reading the pure candles, price action tells you everything, that this option played out with the break new extreme. So finally, I can now resume thinking bearish because remember, we started with this very channel. Overshoot leads to a break, so we may right now get new extreme. However, that doesn't mean I'm just going to sell right now. I still want to confirm it, so I'm going to observe how the EMA is going to hold because EMA can hold and we can continue working higher. I don't know this. We're breaking below and this is perfect. Okay, so this confirms that we are about to reach the new low for the downtrend. So I'm looking for a second entry short at the EMA. Can we get it? We cannot and we already created micro break and a new extreme, which is quite concerning because this is not consistent series of low highs, low lows. This is steep push down. 
So if there's going to be second entry short, I would be a little bit hesitant to take it. You can see it didn't even trigger. So there is no problem, it didn't even trigger. But we don't have fully new high for this bullish leg. We pushed above EMA, getting a little bit congested. So even had there been a second entry short, I don't think we can take it. But now I definitely need to redraw the short term congestion. You can see how EMA is flattening and getting in all these bars. This is a no trade zone. I don't want to be buying because the main downtrend is new low. We established that. Uptrend played out. But I just need to pick the right entry to sell. Okay, you have a lower high. And this lower high can be treated as confirmation of fell breakout because we had a fell breakout. Most breakouts of trend ranges will fail according to rules. And you can say this lower high confirms the fell breakout. Problem is, it's still part of this congestion. Not really what I like. Three points big, you know. You can use limit order, but it's way more aggressive because what you want to see, you want to free yourself out of this congestion and you want to take something like this breakout pullback, legitimate low high. Can you get it? We cannot because market never formed low high. If a new low first entry short, second entry short, far from the EMA, we cannot take. New low only first entry short and market continues working lower like this. And you can see that this initial downtrend that had an overshoot is to break created new extreme. So I can definitely now fulfill my trend line rule. I'm going to pause looking to sell. There is even possibility for secondary channel. Now, just because you're breaking new extreme, that doesn't mean you're going to start buying instantly. Because if we're going to take a look at this downtrend, this was quite a strong downtrend. This is no weak downtrend. So I'm not thinking about buying, but I am pausing looking to sell. Now we have visual to like a pullback and little fell breakout, but we already formed new low. The signal bar is bullish above EMA. I don't think we can take, but you can see how price action moves. There's a little fell breakout because we have small congestion here. You can see break higher fell, break higher fell. Once again, more advanced trader can consider. I actually know that when you are trading this live, you have a little bit of different bars. I reloaded my data. So I know some traders had very bar, so you can consider, but our main downtrend created a break in a new extreme. So I'm going to be a little bit patient because this is area of indecision. We can correct, we can reverse. I don't want to be pushing the short entries because all channels played out. I'm using the trend line rule. So even though you can see a couple small scalps working lower, everything is congested, EMA in all these bars and no context is supporting it. So you don't really want to learn the habit of forcing entry like this when everything in market is telling you that the structure is reversing. You may be tempted to be selling at the very bottom of this trend, but because this trend played out and our first channel played out, we're not really looking to sell just yet. I was eyeing possible why the channel like this, but it just doesn't fit that well because there's just so much empty room at the bottom doesn't really fit that well, doesn't fit on higher time frames. So we're better off just to following short term channel because it may take time for price action to correct. But all channels played out, so we gotta be a little bit more careful. Now, at this time when I'm watching this live, I'm still playing this mainly as a train range. Okay, because you can see market cycle downtrend played out, EMA flattened. So in my mind, I'm thinking about possible break, push below EMA and a felt second entry long, but it is not happening. I'm proven wrong. EMA holding, EMA still holding, and there is no way we're going to get a felt second entry long. So I definitely need to observe why is EMA reacting like this? This is not acting as sellers are stepping into the market right here because EMA is holding every single time. This shows that we may have bullish reversal because all channels played out. And there is no setup. Once again, before I refresh my data, there was actually a decent second entry long with small bullish bar. So if you have this bar in your chart and you're watching this, you could have considered, but on my chart, I cannot really see it right now. So what I'm gonna do, redraw a brand new uptrend because I never want to leave these candles on the chart without a pattern. If you follow the trend line rule, you're gonna predict what the market is going to do. So for this reason, I'm always looking for these channels. We have a small overshoot, but it's not acting as overshoot. 
so this means i'm going to widen the channel because after overshoot i would expect stronger pullback it can be that the channel is just wider so because it's not behaving as overshoot i'm just going to simply widen the channel it still fits fairly well it's holding at the top so what's going through my mind it's simple all down trends played out market cycle correction transform into bullish reversal ema is pointing up series of high highs and high lows so i'm resetting the count at each new high counting for two like a pullback i'm not selling i'm not buying too far up because you never know when it's going to pull back i want to see pull back the ema or key entry point and buy a high quality setup so this looks good we have a down working low breaking low first entry long we have small support forming we have a second entry long but the signal bar is very bar now because context is so clear we have an uptrend working higher it's at the ema and you have support you could have considered double bar entry which means you're going to wait for trigger above this follow up bar drop a limit order your stop loss always has to go below the initial signal bar i tried but there is gap it never came back so unfortunately there was just no way to catch it but i'm going to mark it because context why this is such a great setup and we didn't have that many setups today so you know price action can be followed quite well but not that many setups so nothing you can do just follow the rules and let's see if tomorrow is going to be better now we have high low but it's far from the ema and we can't really call it high low because we already broke the new high so technically just the first entry long okay can you get that a second entry long and we cannot so far from the ema not even touching the ema no room to these highs i want to see stronger pullback i'm going to redraw the short one. downtrend so new high first entry long downtrend in play cannot take first entry downtrend is in play cannot sell excuse me cannot buy i want to see break new low and then consider push above ema and high low or for second entry short can get it okay you have break new extreme can you push above ema but notice what is happening this is a massive push down okay so this bearish channel down is too tiny for this entire structure so i'm going to adapt because i want channels to be proportionate there's a chance that the correction is going to take a little bit longer i'm going to redraw the short up trend okay we have a new low first entry short second entry short but problem is the signal bar is bullish doji above ema and now we have a felt second entry long felt second entry long new high of the correction first entry long second entry long but once again signal bar is terrible but it's pretty clear that this downtrend is going to get new extreme we created a new extreme so i'm going to mark my new extreme and now because even the wider downtrend played out i'm safe to assume that i expect new high for this channel okay this correction was a little bit stronger than expected but that's okay you adapt when would you decide to not follow the bearish bias and start buying again if the ema is holding because you're still below ema that's a sign that there's a wider correction if you push above ema and ema is acting as a support this is when you're expecting for price action to create the new extreme just like it's happening now so what i want to see now i want to see push above ema and a felt second entry short or second entry long because the channel to the left needs to get new extreme this is not happening we're below ema so i'm pausing looking to go long it's not giving me what i want i want to see ema holding it's not happening so i'm waiting i'm still waiting and now ema is flattening and we are entering a train range so because i don't want to go long directly into these highs and sell directly into these lows i'm looking for these key levels you can see up and down up and down up and down flat ema so i'm just going to be very patient now we have a lower high i was personally looking for felt second entry long but we can consider selling this it's a little bit congested so i wanted to see felt second entry long but right now we can play the trend range rules you know we still expect new high yes but there's a big chance you're going to at least go here because right now the small trend range is in play so i'm willing to mark this setup as a low high confirmation setup there was no felt second entry long because we already pushed so far down to the bottom of the train range the move already happened 
so I cannot take one second too long. I wanted to see a form right here. Price action. I don't think we can go long because the downtrend is still in play. We cannot tell because the support is holding. So I'm just going to be patient here. Okay, we're finally breaking higher. We're making higher lows. This is a sign of bullish momentum. We may finally break higher and get the new extreme. All I want to see, I don't even overthink setups in this. I just want to see break higher. Get me out of this trend range and give me some nice second inch long because you can get chopped over analyzing a mess like this unless something is close to clear and you can sell great setup or trap at either these extremes. You can never take setups in the middle of this congestion. Even though there's a second entry or felt second entry, it is so stacked, such a tight range. You know, you're better off just be patient here. We're breaking higher. Can we get a second entry long? We cannot. And now it's getting way too late and market is about to close. Not that many good setups today. If I'm going to zoom back to see the overall structure, it's quite predictable. The downtrend, massive overshoot, a longer correction. And you can see every single move in price session can be explained by following the channels. Most traders on the internet, they draw channels super broad, super wide, and they're wondering why the channels aren't really working. You need to draw them tight. You want to see price session working nicely. And you keep using the EMA and overall structure to help you distinguish how strong the trend is. So we had a downtrend break new stream, market cycle reverse into a bullish trend. Our goal is still the same, identify bullish channel, reset the count at each new highs. This was a little bit tricky area because you expect new high, but market is consolidating for such a long time, it cannot really give us any good setup. And remember, when you have a break and you expect new high, you cannot just blindly buy. You need to wait for push above EMA and EMA holding as a support. Other than that, there's going to be a longer correction. And had there been better.